Well, hi there, friends. Rebecca here, the Dragon Librarian from Farmington Community Library. And Elwing and I are here today to talk to you about a fantastic new book that really took us by surprise. And we hope that it's something that you find exciting and interesting as well and may want to read it too. And then you can come in and talk to us about it because it's so cool. So what is this book? This book is called A Darkening of Dragons by S.A. Patrick. A Darkening of Dragons. Now, you can probably tell, based on the cover and the title, why I was first drawn to this book. It is a very cool cover, right? There's a lot going on here. The color is really neat. Um, and obviously, it looks like it's a book about dragons. And it's got dragons in the title. So, without even really uh, looking at the book and seeing what it was about, I checked it out and started reading it. Because I was so excited to start reading a new dragon book. However, I was really taken aback and just caught up in the story because it does a really cool thing. So it retells a fairy tale that I don't know I've ever seen done before. Um, you know, I'm, I'm always reading fairy tale retellings of like Cinderella and Beauty and the Beast and uh, Snow White and Sleeping Beauty. Like they're just done a lot because they're really popular fairy tales. But this one takes a fairy tale and just retells it, and I, like I said, I've never seen it done before, and the fairy tale that they're talking about here is the Pied Piper of Hamelin, which is very interesting. So there's two different versions of that original fairy tale. So there's the watered-down version, which is basically that the this piper comes to this village, um, this village is overrun with all these rats, he plays this magical tune on his pipe, and he leads all the rats out of the village. Everybody's happy. But then there's the darker, more, uh, the more darker, the original uh, ending of the story, which is after he leads the rats out of the village and he saves the village, he goes back to the village for his payment. Because you've got to be paid for doing a good job, right? Well, they don't want to pay him now. The villagers, for whatever reason, have turned really nasty and are like, we're not paying you, you can't make us. So then he plays a different tune on his pipe and he leads all the children out of the town, never to be seen again. Whew. That got pretty dark, right? The only reason I bring up that with the actual ending is because that's the story that is really being told here in this book. So this book features a um, boy named Patch who is a piper. Now, pipers are really cool in this story. They have all these different songs that they learn to help. They go traveling throughout the land and helping different towns and villages with stuff. Yes, they do uh, the thing with the rats and stuff, but they also help crops grow and they help... Just basically, they help to heal, and there's all kinds of different tunes that they learn. Patch, however, um, has not finished his training yet. And he goes to this one village and plays a forbidden tune to try to help them, which goes a little bit wrong. And because of that, he's thrown in prison. So, once he's in prison, he finds out, unfortunately, that the main villain who has been locked up for ages, the Pied Piper of Hamlin, has escaped and is now starting to rain terror on the world again. So Patch has to, um, he has to get free and he uses the help of a couple different people. There is Ren, who I absolutely love. She is a girl that is trapped in the body of a rat. She is so hilarious and adorable. I loved her so much. And then there is Barber, Barver, who is a Dracogriff. And he is um, one of the main characters as well, who is helping Patch. Um, so I, this book was just so unique and I was really caught up in it because of the uniqueness. Like, yes, there's dragons and yes, it's a fantasy story. But like I said, I don't know that I've ever, uh, read a retelling of the Pied Piper of Hamlin like this before that was just so fun and interesting and dangerous and cool. Um, I love that the Pied Piper of Hamlin is the actual main villain in the story. Um, I can't give too much more away about him because I don't want to give away what happens in it, but... Basically, the thing is the same where he, he did this to this village. All these children have disappeared. Nobody ever found them. And so he's been put in jail. He was captured and put in jail. Um, but because of what he's done, the Pipers as a whole have sort of been discredited. So they're always trying to work to gain people's trust and get their reputation back because of everything that this villain has done. So this was just a really fun story. The world building was really cool. Um, like I said, it was it was one of the more unique stories I've read in a while that's a fantasy story that was just so awesome. I really liked Patch too. He was just really adorable, bumbling hero. Um, and I love heroes like that. And it's just really fun. If you're looking for a great, fun, different sort of fantasy story, A Darkening of Dragons. Really, really cool. And of course, there's dragons in it. So what's not to love, right? <laughs> a Darkening of Dragons. 
Well, that's what we've got to talk to you about today. I hope that this book sounds really fun and interesting and that you love it just as much as I do. Um, if so, please feel free to come get it from Farmington Community Library. Also, if you haven't signed up for summer reading yet, please do that as well. You can go to farmlib.readsquare.com and sign up and um, you get a free book for signing up. Lots of other really cool stuff as well. Thank you so much for watching, my friends, and have a wonderful rest of the day.